What can the birds that we hear tell us about our forests? So we know that we can look at a forest and judge by the species of trees that are there and the way that they're growing, what species of bird might be there. But this also works the other way around. From the species of birds that we hear singing, we can learn about the habitats that are available on our landscape. I had this experience the other day of stepping out of my truck in a place I'd never been before and I heard a yellow warbler singing. Here in Vermont, yellow warblers are always in shrubby wetlands. And so I knew without ever having seen this place before that there were shrubby wetlands there. When you get to learn our native bird species, you see this again and again and again. You hear a red-winged blackbird and you know that there's an open wetland probably with cattails in it nearby. When I hear a pine warbler, I know that there are pine trees nearby. If I hear a winter wren, I know that there's a place with softwood cover and probably some dead trees laying on the ground. If I hear a chestnut-sided warbler, I know that there's some young forest or a field with kind of like a shrubby edge. If I hear a black-throated blue warbler, I know that there's a hardwood forest with an understory. So I'm in a forest that I've never been to before, which is this young hardwood forest. But right now I'm hearing a black-throated green warbler. Black-throated green warblers are kind of generalists, but they're almost always singing from forests that have some degree of softwood, coniferous trees in them. And so I've been walking through this hardwood forest and been like, where's the softwood? Well, here's the softwood. This happens to me again and again and again. Yes, our forest can tell us about the birds that might be here but our birds can also tell us about our forests.